Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> Today is the day that all horror fans wait all year long. Oh, yeah. To, uh... <laughs> it's the one year where we're considered not freaks of nature, but normal people. Because everybody's watching horror movies this time of year. They just don't yeah. realize that we're watching horror is movies even in Christmas. Is it just me or is this food got a little bit darker? It's, it's a little dark inside. It's supposed to be spooky. It's Halloween. It's Halloween, bro! I, well, I guess it's not Halloween. It's like three days away, but... <laughs> this, sure. vi this video is going to be on Halloween, so happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween, everybody. This is going to be an uber long video, and at the end of the video, we're going to reveal what next month's Matt Reviews theme is going to be. Oh, don't give it away. <laughs> oh, I don't think anybody's going to understand. <laughs> Even when we tell them. <laughs> Alright. We've been hopping this video up all month long. This is 10 films a piece, so it's 20 films to watch to on die for. No. <laughs> to die for. To watch on Halloween. You want to get started? You want me to get started, man? You start first. Like I said, these are no order. These are just ten no. films we picked out of my collection that we both enjoy watching on Halloween. Yep. All right, so I'll get us started. We actually did watch this movie on Halloween uh, around the Halloween season, but we didn't review it because we had uh, other stuff planned. Yeah. But I think it's a movie we both enjoy. Yeah, it's random as crap. It's Lucio Fulci's City of the Living Dead, and oh. I picked this one because I picked it over other Fulci stuff because I feel. It has the most creepy atmosphere of almost any Fulcher film. What do you think, Matt? Yeah. I think it's a very, very creepy film. And it gory is, as a son of a gun. Is the the one thing the... The drill. Is that a spoiler? Ah, who cares? Mm -hmm. But when he sticks that a bob... Bob, yeah. There's always a bob in a Fulcher film. Sticks his head on there, but... You're like, what is he killing him for? He's like... <laughs> <laughs> I just like the whole movie's kind of foggy and has yeah. this cold tone to it. I just I love this movie, but I guess we shouldn't spend too much time on each movie. Yeah, but the zombies at the end of it. Oh, I love the zombies. Yeah. Um, what I say that guy's name? Janetto De Rossi did the gore in this movie. And he's a he's a master of Italian yeah. splatter. Yeah, Fulci's City Living Dead, my first pick of a movie you can watch on Halloween. It's good <laughs> atmosphere. Good atmosphere. Love that movie. All right, let me get. What are you picking first, Matt? One of my favorite classics in. It's yeah. got a big cult following. And we got a VHS copy of it because yeah. Matt's got the DVD. <laughs> I don't know where. I think it's at my house somewhere. All right. It's George it's Romero. Night of the Living Dead. Oh, crap. Sorry. Which is, you know, I think that is probably the quintessential Halloween film. Yeah. If it ain't a Halloween film, I don't know what it is. I mean, like, a lot of people, like, it sucks that Romero makes no money from the movie where it's public domain. Yeah. But it's become so popular because every channel plays it on Halloween. Because it's public AMC, domain. Yeah, I mean. Uh, IFC. Um, it's just a great movie, too. I mean, it was very inventive. Romero. Even RTV plays it. It does. <laughs> Wolfman Mac. Yep. Wolfman Mac. If you have RTV, that's a great ch show to watch. It's hilarious, too. Mm -hmm. And um, this movie is one of my favorite movies I've ever watched. Mm -hmm. I've heard it looks like a piece of crap in color. It does. Although, <laughs> they had a DVD come out. And I don't know. I don't think it ever came out on Blu ray, but. Um, Dimension put out a DVD that I think is out of print, which is a shame because it was a great DVD and the print looked amazing. But the topic of this movie, of course, there's a I used to say like a satellite or something, stuff they like never that. Explain. that. Oh, they never explain. No, I mean you never know throughout all these movies. And that says somehow these flesh hungry zombies race from the grave and start eating people. Of course, yeah. Which Wow, it's it is a great movie. Yep. We shouldn't spend so much time on each movie. This movie, this movie, yeah, like twenty minutes long. We've so. only got four minutes. All right, so yep. return. His first pick, Not Living Dead. Great film to watch on Halloween. I mean, I'm sure everybody watching this video has at least watched it or seen part of it over the Halloween season already. I know I have. I've seen the whole movie. Uh, my next one is one that I watch every year, and I'm not really sure why because it has nothing to do with Halloween. But it's just a movie <laughs> I love to watch on Halloween, and it's Robin Hardy's. The Wicker Man starred Christopher Lee and uh, I can't remember that guy's name. Probably the most famous Edward movie Woodward. Christopher Lee, isn't it? I don't know. I'd say the Hammer Horror stuff is the most famous stuff with Christopher Lee. Oh, yeah, really? Like Horror of the Dragon, something like that. Yeah, this is the original cover. If anyone's wondering. Uh, it's basically about a religious guy who shows up on this pagan island and there's a big twist ending that I'm not going to give away, but this atmosphere of this film is what makes this a good Halloween film to me. I don't know, it just has this weird. It all kind of takes place, you know. It's supposed to be like, take place in May, 
like a May Day festival, but I don't know. It has this weird, cold, strange atmosphere. And it's almost a musical, too. Right? What are you doing? There's stuff in the way. I can't even get over here. And all the folk music in the movie is just so bizarre. I love it. I highly recommend Wicker Man to watch on Halloween. Oh, yeah. This movie creeped the freak out of me. <laughs> Evil Dead. Uh oh. Evil Dead. <laughs> 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 oh, God, my head. <laughs> Evil Dead. Uh, yeah, it was definitely Evil Dead, Matt. I picked up the wrong one. I'm sorry. That's Evil Dead. <laughs> I wasn't looking. I'm sorry. That's a spoiler to me. A future pick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Evil Dead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Evil Dead. There's a hundred million editions of that movie out on DVD. <laughs> but if you don't own it, you gotta pick one up. Uh, yeah, definitely. I love watching Evil Dead around Halloween. It's just. Yeah. Just have that creepy atmosphere. Yeah, it feels cold. Like, I guess that's the kind of movies I like to watch on Halloween. The movies that have this cold tone to it, you know? Yeah, that makes you get um, goosebumps all over you. Like, don't, watch, don't watch goosebumps. Why well, not watch goosebumps? I oh, watch there's, goosebumps. There's a couple episodes not to watch. I watched goosebumps this Halloween season. It was from my childhood. I watched what I want. Don't tell me what to watch, boy. But anyways. Well, there's some of the stuff that just Well, watch. Oh. you know, they're probably all bad, but who cares. Evil Dead, yeah. You can put these back up so they can oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, The coolest thing, I think, for us is we f we live literally no further than 15 minutes away from when that movie was made. Well, Morse that's Town, what they say it was made. It, it, was, made. Wait, it was made in Morristown? It was made in Morristown, Tennessee. Wow. Which is literally just across the bridge from us. We can drive 15 minutes and be at Morristown. It was also filmed... Uh, Quick story, this is going to be a long video, we're probably going to split it in multiple parts, so who yeah. cares. Um, I used to work for a trucking company when I was in high school. I cleaned trucks and cleaned out uh, trailers and stuff like that. It was my job. I had it for a whole summer. I'm not going to get into that. That's, yeah. <laughs> but didn't you say the one I, of the guys... I, I, the person I worked for, one of my jobs was to mow their lawn. Mm -hmm. And um, I uh, was down there one day mowing it. I was like, boy, that road looks familiar. And it wasn't until I bought that DVD and was watching I realized the road right below my boss's house was the road they used in Evil Dead, the very beginning of the movie. Which is pretty crazy. I, I, as an Evil Dead fan, I was like, wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Evil Dead is great. <laughs> Sam, Raimi, <laughs> Sam Raimi was very inventive with that movie. Yeah. It's a great flick. Bad that he went on to make Spider-Man. Well, I mean, it's not like the Spider-Man movies are terrible. They're not terrible, but... They're, they're not evil dead, but they're not terrible. Alright, anything else you want to say evil dead? Well, if you have kids in the house, don't let them watch this. It's gory. I've seen it. It scared the frick out of me. And... I don't know. <laughs> it's freaking scary. It is a good movie. I remember the first time I watched it, it freaked me out. I was like, ooh. Um, this next one's a summer camp slasher, but you, if you watch the movie, it clearly doesn't take place during the summer. Like, they did not film this during the summer. It is very obvious. <laughs> they go swimming, their faces are redder in blood. You know, there's steam coming off the water. I mean, it was clearly filmed sometime either during the fall or the winter. I would hate to swim in the winter. And it's one of the most bizarre slasher films ever made, and that's Sleepaway Camp. And if you've ever seen this cover or watched this movie, the one thing you will definitely remember is the ending of the movie. Matt hasn't seen it, so I'm not going to say anything about it. But it is absolutely insane. It is such a weird film, too. It's got a weird vibe. And it's one of the only slasher films I can think of where they're not killing teenagers. They're killing children. And these are 12, 13-year-old people getting massacred in very violent... <sighs> and there's weird tones, like the homosexuality and pedophilia. Just weird stuff in this movie. Great film to watch on Halloween because it's just, it's like watching a nightmare. It really is. Like, it's not your typical 80s slasher. <laughs> Sorry if you lost your pain. What's going on on the TV? That's a terrible movie. Bug. William Freakin. That's the overacting movie of the century. Back, okay. Back to what we're doing here. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? We, already, we reviewed this one, so... We shouldn't get too much into it. Cause we yeah. about mm -hmm. two months ago. Of course. Halloween. It's kind of hard because that part right there is glaring. Yeah, it's a lenticular cover. Here. That's <laughs> better. <laughs> Halloween. John Carpenter. Classic. Not Rob Zombie's piece of garbage. <laughs> uh, I mean, what do you say about it? It's a movie been talked mm -hmm. about a million times. It's got a great atmosphere. It's uh, cool. 
in my opinion, it's probably one of the best slash films I've ever seen so far. So far! It's yeah. your favorite movie, is it not? Yes. Yeah, I thought it was. It is a good film. John Carpenter's a genius. Yeah, he came well, out. Here, let me do this then. I was going to pick another one, but I'll pick this one. Because it's part of the Halloween franchise. <laughs> oh. And it's my favorite Halloween sequel. Even though it's the one that everybody takes a big dump on. And you should know what that is by now. And that's ignore this half, but it's Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. And my copy signed by the director, Tommy Lee Wallace. Starring Tom Atkins, Man of Action. To me, it's the Halloween that has the most to do with Halloween. Like, it's literally about the holiday of Halloween. You know, the mask makers. And what pisses me off the most about Halloween 3 is the fact that anyone that says they don't like it, their only argument is, it doesn't have Michael Myers in it. I'm like, forget Michael Myers. And watch the movie. It's fantastic. It's got a weird, creepy little atmosphere. As you notice, I'm picking a lot of weird atmosphere stuff. Yeah. Because to me, I like watching stuff that feels like a nightmare. That's why I like Fulci stuff and Argento stuff, you know? Just this yeah. weird atmosphere stuff. And apparently you like picking out movies that are completely bizarre. Mm -hmm. That movie is bizarre, of yeah. course. And it's pretty ballsy, too. I mean... Yeah, it's killing children! Yeah. <laughs> you better pick two movies that's killing children. What can I say? I'm a fan of child murder. Joke. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, a <no>. joke. <laughs> Alien 3. Great movie. Tom Atkins is a beast. 